Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add events as a list or a monthly calendar to the front end of your website using the Modern Events Calendar plugin. So once we're on our dashboard, we're going to navigate to ME Calendar and go to Shortcodes. And as you can see, I already have a few here. Let's go ahead and add a new one. Now I want to add a list of events. Um, for all of my events that are upcoming, okay? So I want to do a list view, and I wanted to do a classic, minimal, modern, standard, or accordion. Let's just do classic for now. And if you're not sure what they actually look like, I would suggest going to the actual page for the plugin. They have a whole bunch of um, different uh, demos for their plugin that you can actually find on their site and you'll be able to uh, choose them from the actual website itself. Let's see if it's working. And we're gonna go ahead and navigate. I'm gonna see if I can find it on, I'm gonna see if I can find it on the Code Canyon to their live preview. Okay, so I just had something wrong. Okay, so their demo here. And so you can see they have a list view here and you can see all the different styles. So standard style is something along the lines of this. And of course you can check it out and see what it looks like on mobile. Um, you can always do the modern style. They have classic which is probably the one I choose the most. Uh, minimal, which is a really great looking one. And special on mobile, they look really good. Um, and then toggle style, basically like an accordion. So you can actually click it and it'll open like that. This one isn't as mobile friendly, but it still looks nice. Okay, so you can go ahead and check out the different ones that they have here. I would highly suggest that you do that. I can go ahead and link this down into the comments below. So from there, you can go ahead and add the minimal. And then the start date I want for today, I want all the events, including today's events, to be on this list. The date format, let's go ahead and change this. Because I want month, day, and then year. And then we have a load more. So if we have a limit on it, maybe like three, then we can have a load more button right here. The show month divider, basically if you have a list of events and the list goes into different months of the events, it'll actually put the full name of the month above the start of the first event in that month. I turn it off because it looks a little bulky. And then we have the single event display method. So this allows you to open it up in a separate window, or you can do a modal, so it'll just be a pop-up. I like new windows. Uh, you can actually make it so that you can only show certain categories or locations, organizers and labels, along with tags. So there's a bunch of different options. So if you only want to show, have a list, show specific categories, you can do that as well. And I actually have a couple of examples of those right here on this website. And if you see at the bottom of this website, when I scroll down, it's going to have three different columns for events that are upcoming. We have crafting for adults, kids craft corners, and canvas creations. So basically it'll have the events that are actually pertaining to that category under here. Um, over here on the right hand side, the, the search form, you can have that turned off or turn it on. And you can actually enable any of these text search filters that you want to have. Um, something similar to it'll be up here or it'll be up here for the lists. And then, you, of course, you have your short code that you use to actually put it on the front end of your website. So, for example, if we go ahead and edit this page, you'll see the different short codes that we have on each section to actually showcase the different ones. So let's go ahead and load this up and we're gonna go ahead and show you the different shortcodes that we currently have. 
So we have the crafting for adults. We have this short code and that's all you have to do. It's just add the short code to a text element or to a content area. And then you can go ahead and make it so that that shows up. Same thing here. And then same thing here. Um, we also have this one. It's just one single short code for a month event for a monthly view. Sorry. So we pasted that in there and that's there. Um, we have all of our different short codes here that you're able to view. Uh, if I was on the right page. So we have all of our different short codes here. So you can see we have the adult craft nights, kids craft events, canvas creations and the monthly view. So those four are all right here. So we have the monthly crafting kids canvas. Those are all the four that we need. I mean, it's, it's that easy to make short codes and display events based on time um, or anything like that. So basically you can actually make the start date on a certain date. So let's just say I want all of my 2018 events to show in this list, nothing else. You can do that. You can just put in 2018 there, or you could just do, um, you know, all of my 2018 events in September. You can do that as well. There are so many different options that you can do. So you can do start of next month. You can do start of current month, tomorrow, or today. There's a bunch of different options that you guys are able to have. Uh, your short code is over here. So you can just copy and paste that into your cornerstone content and just go ahead and it'll display it right on the front end of your website. There are a lot of different options. Uh, I would say take a look at all of these options underneath of their demo so that you can actually see what they look like. Um, for example, the countdown view, there's different ones. So you can show this. This is a really awesome way to show on your home screen uh, the next event that's upcoming. Uh, you can do it as in like a widget mode or you can also do it as in like maybe your main style for the header. Um, not the actual header, but the top portion of your website. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can actually showcase your webs your uh, events on your website and they all look awesome especially when you pair it with your own branding instead of this really bright blue it just comes out awesome and they look really really good so here's also like a week and you can also do you know different days of the week things of that nature um single event modals you can see how those look so if we wanted to view details, you see that it just pops up right there, has all of the different options and then your, uh, like your sample of the hourly schedule. So you can also do that and everything is included in the plugin. You don't have to worry about buying add-ons um, and it's just free. It's amazing. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below um, and I will see you guys at the next one. Thank you.